Welcome everyone back to another Forza Motorsport 7 video. Today's video, as you can see, is a little bit different just because we don't have a face cam today. Instead, we have a wheel cam here and a shift cam right down here. And the reason for that is just because I want to try using a steering wheel in Forza Motorsport 7. I've used it a little bit before, um, and by before I mean a, just right a few minutes before I even started recording. I've done a few races, so I know what the steering wheel feels like, um, and I can tell you it feels much more different. I, I, I don't know how else to put that. From, uh, from jumping over from controller. So anyway, we're going to get straight into the race. Um, I'm, I had the best results of putting this in second gear. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hold down the clutch, and there we go. We're off. It's a little bit more diff difficult with the microphone right in front of me, but it should be okay. Okay. And I'm, al I'm already getting, you know, shoved around a little bit. But yeah, I definitely have, you know, a pretty good e voice crack. I have a pretty good... E no, shoot. I do enjoy playing racing games with, like, a physical steering wheel, though. But I've never really gone around to, like, recording it. Ugh, okay. That's... Yeah, for the thing is, with force feedback on, it, you can't just like yank the wheel everywhere. That's because force feedback obviously isn't gonna allow you to do that. There we go. Drift that corner a little bit. Obviously, I'm not following the line. I probably should follow this line here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, obviously, the the wheel, it takes a bit of practice. It takes a bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it definitely... You know, it, it feels really nice driving with the steering wheel once you get the hang of it. It definitely feels way more realistic than with a controller. Obviously, there is this camera too, the, the wheel-like camera. But honestly, I prefer just driving with the cockpit view. Also, I don't I don't know why, but I feel like I can slam the brakes way hard. Oh, that's fifth. I feel like I can slam the brakes way harder with uh, the pedals than with the controller. I'm not sure why that is, or if it's just like perception or something. I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, yeah, I probably should just start focusing on the race. That well, there we go. There there are you know all my thoughts and stuff out of the way. Obviously this is going to be a, a more like chill, just try to drive video rather than a uh, oh you know we're gonna try to win this race because obviously this is pretty much one of my first times trying out the, the wheel. I tried it out, I I'm gonna be honest, I tried driving with the wheel yesterday so this isn't like the very first time I've tried driving with the wheel. But it but I would say it's pretty close, just because I only did like maybe three races yesterday and a couple more before I started recording this video. So it's still pretty much my first time trying to drive with the steering wheel. After, just from jumping, you know, from controller. Obviously, I've used the steering wheel now for almost a year. Just not really on Forza, it's more like city car driving and games like that more more of the, like the driving oh, I mean I'm not saying this isn't a driving simulator but I'm saying that just the more like realistic driving games and then of course I've, I've used it on beam and G drive too which 
it's, it's more like it's not really a driving simulator but like it's still a fun game to use the steering wheel on well there we go there there are you know all my opinions and stuff about the wheel out of the way for this video I hope I may come back uh, but uh, we're just gonna fuck try to uh, I can't even speak we're just gonna try to focus on on driving okay yeah uh, see the, the another thing is that the the when when the car starts to slide the wheel gets kind of pulled out of your of your hand and you kind of have to just like follow it just because otherwise you may actually break the motor I, I don't know if it's a motor or something but you'll you may end up breaking something in the steering wheel um maybe not i don't but i really don't want to risk it I may do another video about this, like, with wheel cam, just by, uh, oh, oh, oh. I may do another video with wheel cam, uh, voice crack, uh, but with, uh, drifting. I'm not sure which car I'll do it with, but something that's easy to drift something that's not like doesn't have a lot of power just because obviously this is I can handle a little bit more power with uh, with a controller just because I can kind of just yank the car into a different direction but with the steering wheel you kind of it, it happens way more slowly oh, there we go the steering wheel is getting pulled out of my hand again that's a nice thing with force feedback it just it makes the feel way more realistic rather than just be super tight or super loose. Oh. And yeah, if you keep hearing the uh, the gear, like you keep hearing this kind of like the the grinding sound, that's because I didn't hold down the clutch long enough. Audio cut up. The only way I'm getting audio is through my controller, so I have to keep that connected to the Xbox, too. Oh, shoot. And here we go. It is very important uh, when you have a steering wheel to use the lines, like braking lines, possibly even a full line. But as of now, I'm only using the braking line. And I think I'm doing just fine. I'm in fourth place, and it's the last lap. It'd be great if I could make it to the top three, though. Just... Duh. Okay, okay, okay. That that didn't work. And yeah, you may... And yeah, you, you saw pretty much everything, like, shaking. That's just because the steering wheel's connected to the desk. Because I don't have... You know, like a racing seat. Oh, shoot. I may eventually get a racing seat. I'm not too sure about that. I may. I may not. I'm not sure. I'm still getting used to manual transmission. Like manual with clutch. But you know, I'm I'm learning it. I'm picking it up. There we go. Now I'm going through the gears pretty cleanly, and there we go. Top three. That was a good pass. Why was that not a great pass? Ooh, that's... Okay, here we go. Slam on the brakes again. Oh, there we go. There's another grinding sound. That's so... Just terrible to hear, that grinding sound. I hate it. Because you just feel the car being destroyed.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, spin out. Okay, I think I was in second gear. No, I was. No, I was still in third gear. Okay, yeah, there we go. Once the car starts to like, kind of oversteer a little bit, then the steering wheel kind of gets yanked out of your hand and kind of just starts doing its own thing. Slam on the brakes again. Oh, there's another grinding sound. God, I'm terrible at using a manual transmission. Oh, if I can clutch this and get second. Oh, I did! Oh, not quite first, though. Mm. Oh, well. I was pretty close. I was pretty close. I was... If I had just a little bit more distance, I would probably would have gotten first place. But, I mean, oh, well. Look at the time zone. That, that's pretty close, I'd say. Alright, let's continue. Let's do another race, and then we'll end the video here. Um, not, obviously, not here, but soon. Okay, and again, I'm gonna put it to second gear, hold the clutch down, there we go. That's actually the cleanest start I've ever had. Okay, don't- oh, cut me off a little bit. Oh, okay. Slam the brakes, too. That's- oh, okay, okay. Squeezing me in a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. Oh, slamming the brakes, really? Oh, you want so you want to race dirty. That's how you want to race. Okay. Obviously, I'm racing dirty, but then again, it's because all the other people are racing dirty, and I don't have much of a choice. Okay, brakes. Okay, that's another turn right there. Okay. Shift down a second. There we go. There we go. Brakes, third, second. go back at the straight away also this video may be a bit more uncut than other videos that's just because you know it it, it shows I'm like I'm actually doing something like with the gears and stuff oh. so that okay which gear was I in shoot it's not telling me third I assume no third yep yeah, I was in fourth Okay, shifting down the third, that's fine. Yeah, this video may be a bit more uncut just because, you know, you can see when I shift gears. If you want to give me any tips, that's fine. Oh, jeez. Into the grass. Okay, yeah, I need to rewind that. That was terrible. That was freaking awful. It was kind of a nice drift, though, but... Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Catching up on the Subaru. Nope, still gonna cut me off. Okay, now I can pass. Okay. 
Okay. And coming up on this other turn, shift down again. Alrighty. And I'm definitely not finishing third at right, first. I'm way too far away. Maybe second though? Oh, it's close. Oh, just about. Oh man, that was close. But anyway, thank you everyone for watching this video. Uh, I know it was a bit of a different video, but um, yeah, thanks anyway for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, travel safe.